Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through if you get the error that your verification has failed, there's an error connecting to the Apple ID server. So you'll get a message like this, verification failed, there's an error connecting to the Apple ID server. You might be wondering what that is, what that message is, and how to fix it. And potentially we'll walk through a couple different options that you have that will definitely get it working again and get everything sorted out. The very first thing that I recommend doing is checking the date and time on your iPhone to make sure that the date and time are set up. So let's go into settings here and let's scroll down until we get to general. And then you can see right under background app re refreshes date and time, let's go to that. Now, if you don't have the date and time set automatically, potentially if you have a date in the future or the past, it could cause issues connecting to the Apple ID server. So if that set automatically is turned off, I recommend toggling it on and making sure that time zone is the correct time zone that you want to use and make sure everything is working and set to automatic on here so that's the actual date and time. The next thing that I recommend doing is just checking and making sure that the Apple servers are not the issues. So let's go into Safari here and you can see I've just typed in Apple server status onto Google and I can just type in that and hit this very first option server status and it'll pop up with something that says all services are operating normally and I can tap the little plus and it'll show me all of these different services. You can see that everything is available and working. If any of these say unavailable or system down, then you can make sure and go through this and see if that you know, is associated with Apple ID, then potentially that's the reason why it can't connect to the Apple server is because the server itself is down. Now, the next thing that you can try out is to go back into settings here and we'll go back and we'll go to general and then software update. So potentially if you have an older software version on your iPhone, that could cause issues connecting to the Apple ID server and cause issues with that verification so that you can't go through the steps to verify your Apple ID. So make sure you go through these steps that the software is fully updated to the latest iOS version. And now the last thing that I will recommend doing is tapping and holding the volume up and power button. And we'll just want to slide to power off the phone. So restart your phone, shut it down fully and turn it back on. And that sometimes will cause everything to kind of be reset, the cache to be reset. And a lot of times we'll fix this verification issue. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.